How are all these American truckers out there doing today? I figured I'd do a, a video here on PeopleNet. Um, I used Qualcomm for a long time. About a year ago, Crete swapped over to PeopleNet. And when they first swapped over to it, I hated it. And it was just basically because I wasn't used to it. I was used to PeopleNet. So some of this crap y'all may already know. Uh, this is basically for the people that might be going to a company that has PeopleNet. Or uh, if your company's swapping over to PeopleNet. This will kind of give you a basic idea of how it's going to run. If you can operate a cell phone, you can use PeopleNet. It's not hard. Not hard at all. I uh, used it at Tyson Foods a little bit. I believe US Express uses a version of PeopleNet as well. And of course here at Crete, we swapped over to them about a year ago, some, somewhere around in there. We were on uh, Qualcomm before that. Anyway, see the screen's got all these things on it. They're all basically apps. Like I said, this system, it's powered by Android. So it works exactly like an Android phone works. Yeah, messaging, e-logs, the vehicle, that's where you add drivers or sign out, system. <clears throat> that's where like if you want to change up the way your messages are viewed and stuff like that. This is very important. If you ever go through a roadside inspection and you have a people net, you want to hit this button before you hand your logs to the officer because this button right here is going to limit that officer and what he can see inside your people net. That way he's only limited to what he is allowed to see and that's it. Your logs last seven days. He can't see your messages. He can't see anything else. All he can see is your logs and stuff with that. Um, so I'll start right here with messages. Just click on messages. If it's highlighted like that, it's one that hasn't been read yet. You can click that back and works just like a regular message box saved out box sent uh here at crete we have uh hot keys which is messages we use a lot free form that goes to our dispatcher asset manager arrived at shipper loaded call arrived at stop depart stop off yada 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 Cir circle of service you can hit this arrow button right here or you can hit that and go back I hit this arrow button, it'll take me back to right here. Come over here and hit form and it's got all the other messages. There's a ton of them, so. Your company might be a little bit different. It might have it set up a little bit different, but that's basically it. So I can hit this back button right here. You can also hit this button right here if you ever get lost and it'll take you back to home also. So it brings you back right there. Default home brings it right back up. Same thing with hitting that button. It does the same thing. Now you can go to e-logs. Of course, that's your logs. It'll bring you up. Uh, like I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. I ran today. So uh, I left Dallas yesterday. And I'm at our terminal here in Phoenix. Like I can go hit status. I can change to whatever status I want it to change to. You can add a driver right there. You can go to options, review your logs, request logs, edit your vehicle ID, you know, your truck number, all that kind of stuff. You can come over here to logs and it'll give you the graphs. You know, and you can go back for the last seven days. You hit details and it'll give you, you know, other information. Like I always come down, I like to see what I'm averaging. Like yesterday I ran 612 miles. Today I ran 527, you know, so. Like I said, I can hit that and go right back to the screen. Your vehicle, you can bring that up. We don't have, we don't have it hooked up or to give us our tire pressure or none of that. You can come in and look at fault codes with us though. I don't think DriveWise is activated, no. All right, I'll come back. Now, with us, anything that's in black and white, it's not activated. Like, we don't have navigation on here. We don't have workflow. 
when I was at, uh, <coughs> excuse me, when I was at Tyson Foods, we had workflow, and it would automatically log when we arrived at a shipper or receiver. We didn't have to send a message in. We don't have that here, so we actually have to send a message in. You can also hit this home button over here, and it'll bring you right back. Default home. I mean, that's really all there is to it. If you can operate a cell phone, you can operate this system. It's not hard at all. Like tomorrow when I get started, I'll hit the logs, I'll hit status, I'll bring myself to on duty and then it'll bring up a section like you can pick inspection, fuel, whatever. I'll pick inspection and I'll let it roll. Since I've gotten used to the system, I actually like it better because it, it really is easier to use once you get used to it. Turn on the light here. I don't know if you can see it. Up top there's these two little deals that come up right here. You can put USBs and stuff in there. You can hook a, uh, you can hook a uh, mouse or a keyboard to it if you don't like using the screen. You can hook a mouse up to it, a wireless mouse. You just put the USB in up top. It's got two USB ports. You can hook a uh, cordless keyboard up to it as well if you'd rather type that way that way because typing on here gets pretty tedious I'll come over here and do an example hotkeys I'll do one like I'm sending to my asset manager so I'd select dispatch and then if I want to type I'd have to do it like this and sometimes your fingers will hit crap you don't want it to hit so if you got a keyboard you can probably type it out faster and it'll look better and be spelled correctly but anyway that's the people net i hope it helps some of y'all it's just some basic uh navigation on the people net if you're going to people net or you're moving to a company that has it don't be worried about it it's pretty simple i hope this helps y'all out anyway y'all have a great night stay out of trouble and keep trucking